What's up everyone? Welcome back. Thank you for stopping in. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you here. Before you head out, give the video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it when you do. And if you have time, leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. Even if I cannot get back to you as soon as I would like, I We'll get back to you. So today we have an awesome overview to do. Something I am really excited to do. Uh, this is kind of like my, one of my pride and joys. This is the Spartan Harsey folder. The 2021 Fir Tree Special Edition. This is the four inch in S45 VN with that coated blade. And you have the nice Douglas fir trees on there. Awesome milling into the handle. And then you have the awesome milling pattern into the pocket clip as well. And that is textured there. So it feels really good. Uh, it has dull thumb studs for deployment. It also has a tab here that can be, that can be front flipped. Uh, it's definitely not, how do I want to say it's, it's not really meant it, it is, but it's not meant to be the, you know, the means of deployment. Uh, I guess I, I don't know if it's been disclosed what that, what the meaning behind that tab is. If it's like a, you got gloves on maybe or something and you really need, you know, I don't know. Uh, but I've always found it kind of cool that you can front flip this four inch frame lock, you know, beast of a knife. Uh, we'll get some quick specs out of the way so you are getting four inches total of blade length you're getting about three and three quarters of cutting edge there and the very tip the bottom tip of this knife is coming in at eight and three quarters right on the dot uh, so you got a nice chunk of uh, titanium and steel here. This is a full size knife. Uh, it, it's overbuilt to extreme, you know, ratios. Uh, this thing is just a tank, uh, and it's so comfortable in hand the way the handle kind of swells out uh it just you know if you have large or extra large hands <clears throat> this is more than likely going to fit your hand like a glove uh i love it and the scales are nice and thick uh you got nice thick uh scales on both sides which will aid in that comfort factor when you're really bearing down on this knife now i know it would add weight to a knife that's already a little weighty but i think if you're buying this knife you're not really concerned with how heavy or how light it is uh and if you was, you could just mill out some more of the scales. Uh, but I would have liked to seen like a full titanium backspacer up in here to the jimping. Like a black titanium backspacer. That would have looked, you know, that would have looked pretty cool on top of an already awesome looking knife. Uh... That's pretty much my only complaint with this knife, and, and it's a small one. Uh, you don't really need it there, 
But uh, if you really start to bear down on this knife and you're, you're maybe doing it over and over again, I can see this fatiguing your hand eventually. Now, initially, no. Uh, but I think if you were to use this, you know, heavy for an extended period of time where you're really squeezing, uh, I think a backspacer would have really done this thing justice to, to really use this heavy duty, you know, and, and for an extended period. Uh, so, like I said, uh, in opening, you do have S45 VN. Uh, this, so far, has been amazing. You can see the USA there. And then Spartan's logo right next to it. Nice and minimal out of the way. And then on the back you have the Wilson William Harsey folder. Bill Harsey. Uh, the designer of this knife. That's why it is called the Spartan Harsey folder. Uh, he is the designer of this knife. And... Man, can he make a knife. Uh, I chose this knife over so many different knives. Uh, you know, and I'm not going to sit here and name off the companies that I skipped, you know, that I put this uh, knife and this company past. Uh, just because I wanted to almost be you know, a little different in my first choice in a knife at this caliber. I think most people would have went one or two other ways, maybe first. Uh, not everyone, uh, but I think the majority of people. But I decided to go to Spartan, uh, and I'm glad I did. Uh, their finishing work is off the charts awesome. Uh, so far the blade has been amazing. Uh, let me get, it has, I do have a new, a pair of new calipers on the way. So I will be getting to use them. I, they'll be here today, I believe. But, uh, man, can Spart uh, Spartan put on a good edge uh unlike another u.s company that i recently bought a knife from uh but this guy came awesome 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 uh very happy with the spartan uh one of the most if not the best looking it's close to the best looking knife I own. Uh, you know, it's it's in the top couple. Uh, my Sagaha Nimble is probably, eh, eh, that might be number one. It'd be a tough, uh, tough choice. The Sagaha Nimble with the Zerk, come on now. Uh, but no, this is, this is right there. And so unique. They have so many different patterns that you can get. This is the one that just always, always caught my eye for the last like two years. Probably since this came out. Uh, when this knife first came out, I didn't even know what knife it was or what company it was. I remember seeing photos of it and I remember telling myself, don't even look, you know, stay away from it, don't look. And I was able to do that for quite a while. And a few weeks, few months went on. And I kept, you know, I saw it a couple more times. And one of the last times I saw it, a fellow knife community member uh, that I know bought one. Uh, I think at a show maybe. And he posted a picture of it. And sure enough, I saw under, you know, it was like the first couple of words spartan harsey folder and i was like oh because i had seen it but never you know really looked and uh that night 
<laughs> after I saw that picture and that post on Instagram, I just ha I said to myself, eh, it's not going to be in stock anywhere anyway, you know, not this version that I want. And I'm looking around and it just so happened that DLT just got a bunch of different Spartan Harsey folders in like literally that day or the day before they had just got a bunch of these in and sure enough uh it must have been the last one because after i bought it it went out of stock uh so i'm guessing they didn't have many uh to begin with probably uh and if they did they was gone you know quickly uh now these are fairly obtainable most of the time they have a bunch of different versions. They have three and a half version, inch versions, which I might look at getting just because I have the four. So I might get the three and a half uh, at some point in time. I have another Spartan knife, the Aster, and I want mine getting the little brother to the Aster. They're both in XHP, which is great. Uh, S45 VN is great. So even Spartan's more budget uh, ended knives have XHP steel. Uh, so I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little comparison. This is the Kaiser Escort. One of Kaiser's new models just come out here recently. Uh, the Spartan pretty much towers over this guy. Uh, why don't we put it up? I have this handy. A lot of people have this fixed blade here. There it is up against the Azola 2 from Essie. You can see there it kind of towers over that guy. And we'll move him out of the way. Anybody have the Chavez? 229 Sangre. Oh, just out of the frame. Let's do this. Choop. There you go. Look at that. So, the uh, Chavez, just a little shy of the Spartan. And then last up, the Vero impulse mini so there you can see it's quite a bit bigger than everything else coming in at that eight and uh what was it eight and three quarters i believe yes was that right yeah eight and three quarter it looked like almost nine there when i was just messing with it i had to double check myself but yeah eight and three quarter uh the chavez is no little guy by any means uh the chavez is a big boy and the, the spartan comes past it on the handle goes past it on the blade i want to say these are three and three quarter inch blades Yes, right at three and three quarters. So you got about a quarter inch of blade and then most likely at least a quarter inch of handle past the uh, Chavez there. Uh, but that will pretty much conclude this overview. I uh, haven't gotten to do a bunch of cutting and testing with this not because i am scared to or anything like that uh i've just had so much coming in that i have not really gotten a chance to use it as much as i would like but there's a few knives i picked five that i'm going to make sure that i'm carrying and testing and then I'm going to come back and revisit these knives here in the future in, say, six to eight weeks or something like that. Because these are my knives, I don't have a time limit on, you know, how long I can do the testing. Uh, and some of these knives, 
I'm most likely going to continue the ones I keep. I'm going to keep continue doing reviews of them. You know, even if it's just a 10 minute review of, hey, it's, it's still holding up perfect, so on and so forth. Or, hey, uh, you know, this, this, and this is going on, uh, whatever it might be. Whether it's positive or negative, come back and revisit it maybe once every six months or something like that. You know what I mean? Just to, because people, I do. Uh, people want to know how does something hold up after so long. A lot of the stuff we see, uh, and no offense to anyone out there, it's just the way it is for the most part, but what we would majorly see on YouTube is the very, uh, very close future of the knife. So it's, you know, at most a few weeks to a month to maybe two months from the time somebody gets a knife in, unboxes it, and then does a review. You know, that's the majority of what we're seeing. We aren't seeing extended, extensive reviews after so long. Uh, and I think there's people out there who would want to see and hear such reviews you know how is this knife holding up after six months after 12 months after 18 months you know that type of deal it doesn't always have to be what am i unboxing today what's new today uh you know let's hone in on what's already come out this is a great knife let's let's keep you know track of what you know, what this knife is bringing to the table over the course of time. But, uh, so that's the end of that, guys. Uh, if you hung out this long, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. If you're wondering about, you know, the action, uh, this knife is not meant to be a fidget knife, but you definitely could. It's on washers, uh, but it's broken in beautifully, uh, like one or two shakes when you're not under the camera, not even really, it'll drop to your thumb and then, you know, you can shake it closed pretty much. Uh, but you know, you could fidget with it, you know, it's a brute. So, you know, you're not going to buy this for a fidget toy. Uh, the sounds are what they are, you know, it thwacks out has a has a nice positive click when it closes thwacks out so i mean if you were wondering about those two things that's not what this knife is supposed to be about but you know as far as materials and how comfortable it is the aesthetics all of that stuff is off the charts i'm pretty sure spartan would take care of any type of issues that you may have uh you know if there was any or just any type of customer service i'm sure they would help you out no problem uh whatever it might be uh maybe you need a, a, a screw or a, a pivot screw or whatever you lose a washer or something uh but if you hung out this long thanks guys Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this guy. Do you have one? Do you want one? Uh, leave it down below. And if you're still here and you're not subscribed, look down here. There's a subscribe button. Just click at. It's free. You don't got to pay no money. You can just click it. It's free. And then ring the little bell after you do. All right, guys. Have a good night. Have a safe night. And I will catch you later.